I totally with my friend Parangvi. There should be a platform for the exchange of teachers as well as students to make collaboration. Where in future collaboration is needed in empowering the India 2020. So good evening, all of you, ladies and gentlemen. So I am R V Raghavendra Rao, PGT Biology, Jawahar Navodaya Vidyalaya, Vijayanagaram, Andhra Pradesh. So I am thankful to the Microsoft to given an opportunity to showcase my ICT initiatives in the school education at academic, administrative, at community level, and sharing these things with the best cream of enterprises of the India. So I have started my ICT journey in the year 2004 in the Rangat Thailand, Andaman and Nicobar Islands. So it motivated us no end since I have changed my teaching methodology so I am continuously incorporating this ICT in all academic administrative at community levels. To transform the education system or to transform the education you need to adapt the ICT in a proper way. So I have adapted a two dimensional way of ICT adaption where there is a continuous change in the technology which has brought the changing practices in the teaching by, as pedagogy. So a school or any organization or institution as a teacher or a student has gone through these typical steps to achieve a greater transformation. So the journey starts with the emerging where normally I, ICT basic skills will be empowered to the teacher and that applies in the classroom that he will identify which tool and what tool to use in the integration of teaching learning process. So in the infusion level what happens it adapts the policies and curriculums and he will integrate the specific tool which is exclusively meant for his subject and in the last stage which is transforming stage where normally the ICT integration will become the part and participle of the school uh, learning process where normally the organizations as well as the institutions will continuously integrate at all levels. So that is how I have gone through the typical stepwise process to achieve the transformation in my classroom teaching. So, and this is another model where normally you can see a learner can integrate ICT by learning as well as he also learns how to integrate ICT in the teaching level. So there is a balanced way where when he learns the ICT skills, uh, the way he uses that he basically goes through the basic uh, soft skills where normally which is available and gradually he updates according to the curriculum and the subject he adapts. So similarly the integration level in the teaching also will be enhanced when learner will experience the step by step process like emerging, applying, then it is infusing and the transforming. So I have participated in three international innovative teachers conference at Singapore, Cape Town and Vietnam. So it has given an opportunity to showcase what is happening in Indian scenario of education of ICT integration. You all of you know that we have been placed in 117th positions when you consider the ICT infrastructure and the ICT integration according to the UNESCO South Asia Pacific records of 2009. So you need to improve still a lot, a lot to work. So we need to go to the root of all these things and we have to work. So to that I have shared a lot whatever the work I have done and I also has showcased some of the best projects of the uh, other people where they are doing in other parts of the world. So I have just gone through this and I have made a suitable platform to extend my learning beyond the classroom. So for that. I have made a website which is called www.biology247.org. 
dot in, which is redefining the class on. Actually, it has increases the learning experience beyond the classroom, and it also enhances the learning by providing the rich content-oriented tools to the schools as well as teachers as a resource material, and it also helps a lot for the professional development of the teachers as well as for the a mentor or a guide or a coach for the students who are going for the uh, K-6 to K-12 CBSE basic curriculum. So it has got uh, so many features that I have already integrated that it has got e-learning, m-learning, and it has given separately to assess the students, their performance level as well as it has been also given some board papers, how you attend the board, what are the career opportunities, how you can access to the online uh, books, you know, how, how you get the uh, online experts, how you can get the answers and all these things, how you can in integrate yourself with the forums and all these things. And along with that, we have also kept a separate session a page for the teachers where they can develop the content enrichment as well as it has been also integrated in that how you can best integrate the ICT practices in your classroom. And it was clearly mentioned that what way you need to start ICT integration and what are the tools we need to integrate very effectively for the primary school children as well as the children of secondary and higher. So along with this, I have also emphasized to integrate love and affection towards the science and to empower them the scientific skills. I have just developed, introduced such as some of the uh, this molecule of the month, which is the, means it is the one which normally exposes the students that what are the new molecules which are discovered and what are those structures that is the molecule of the month is the one of the one and which will laboratory normally nowadays is, there is no dissection in the class 12th and some of the schools they are not unable to afford the wet laboratories where you need to conduct the extraction of DNA or otherwise polymerase chain reaction and uh, such kind of gel electrophoresis and so this has given an opportunity to, on hand, they will get an experience that they are conducting a particular wet lab experience when they go through this virtual laboratory. Along with that, I have also introduced a, a interview with a noble laureate, so that it also normally creates an awareness in the students that towards the reaches at what are the perspective in the life sciences and what end we can choose nowadays. Normally people will hate only, they will only prefer the engineering. And if I just calculate, the, in our school 80 students are there in 10th, when they leave this, most of the, among the 80, only 20 people they will be absorbed in the BIPC group, that is biology they will take, and the rest of the 60 will be, they will be towards the mathematics group or somewhere. So I, I just always explain that, there is a lot of chance for the R&D in the life sciences because all the rest of the subject, they are, whatever they can do, they have already done. The only the area where the people have to work is the biotechnology, microbiology, biochemistry, bioinformatics. So these are the exposed areas where normally we have to concentrate. So to inculcate such kind of scientific skills and awareness, so I introduce this uh, noble relative. So another important tool in this, my website is, it's to conduct a virtual classroom. So where I can reach with a minimum infrastructure to maximum reach. Where I can extend my teaching learning process beyond the four walls. So there are no barriers for me, no periods for me. I can just conduct the classes at a water, anywhere, anytime, without having the geographical constraints. Now this is initially how I started to work out with the Navodhya institution because I am the part of Navodhya family because we face that which is also located in the remote part of the areas in the India and most of the areas. So what is the main problem is the people will join and they will skip in one or two years because when they get a, another opportunity. So we have a lot of scarcity of teachers where normally we are facing it. So in that case, what I have done, a virtual classroom can be used as an alternative tool in where normally the teacher is absent, a teacher is not appointed. So we, so on a scheduled basis, if they send me the email, so I can make a contact with them and I can conduct the virtual class where normally in the smart class because all the Navodhyas are rich in infrastructure and all the, almost all school have got VSAT and other than if the, there is no VSAT, they are equipped with the 
at least broadband. So in the infrastructure, JNVs are very strong. So that way I could reach such kind of things, even with a limited infrastructure, I am able to reach to the maximum. So this was running successfully, even I was also able to conduct virtual classroom beyond the means outside the India also. So I have also conducted with the Malaysia teacher as well as in Singapore teacher. So along with this, to emphasize more on the visually and physically challenged students. In Navodhya, we also have a lot of problem because uh, there is a reservation for the visually handicapped and physically challenged students. So we do face some problems because their learning pace normally is not comparable with the normal students. So they need a lot of feed, means backup from the teachers. The teacher has to work on those people to uplift their emotional as well as they are deprived when they compared with the rest of the students. So I have gone through this and I have asked my organization to get me some help by buying some MP3 plates so that I can develop the audio lessons for them. So anyway, they are always with us. Normally it is in residential institution, all on that, the all students means boys and girls, they will be staying with us. So why can't we provide these audio lessons to those teachers, I mean students. So they go to the dormitories, they listen to it because the physically challenged student is unable to write what the teacher says in within a, a short stipulated period of time. And the visually challenged student is unable to focus his thing on the blackboard. He is unable to write and he is unable to follow. So we have this kind of certain problems and they are also performing very low in their assessments. So to overcome this, I have just used this um, learning, a podcasting tool. I have recorded this maximum. I will help them to work. It has started with the seven students, those who are in my school. And after this, this is a remarkable achievement. What I can expect that they have performance level has increased, first of all. We have succeeded in to get through the examination. And secondly, they have got a self-esteem and they also has developed learning and willingness towards learning. They are also learning successfully now and they are also having a self-esteem. They can also say that ah, we are also doing better among, along with the normal children. That is another, we have succeeded in this. That is why we are working out uh, in this area where initially I have started with the seven now. I am having students, uh, nearly more than 300 students. So in the Navodhya Vidyalayas in the India. So, so I integrated blocks as well as wikis to collaborate with learning. So in this area also we are working a lot. So to reach maximum to the students outside the India also we are working on it. So this is the reach what we can see in this. I have impacted a lot in the students level, teachers level, community level and other level also. And I am just I want to share one few that uh, community level. So my so in December 26, 2004, when I was in Andaman, so the, the tsunami has hit, tsunami. And in this juncture, the most of the students of Nicobar, they have lost parents. And in this regarding, I just thankful to the Microsoft and the team which has visited. So some of the members, they are in this hall, who have visited along the way to the Andaman Nicobar Islands and they have created awareness. So our, our only the school which has worked throughout the uh, year, academic year, without have declaring any holidays in Andaman Idol Lakeland, because we have get connected with VSAT. And in that venture, all the local government have come to our Vidyalaya and they have used the infrastructure and they have communicated to their mainland parents as well as the relations where we are safe. So we have also brought the Nicobar students from the Nicobar Island and what happened? They have just come at this, their soul and the technology what we have showed to those boat point children, they forgot all those what have happened during the tsunami and they have got through the board examination, CBSC 10th class board examination, which is a, a good means because ever remarkable achievement what I can say and for this uh, my principal has been awarded the best principal in in the Ministry of HRD and also the, our school has been won the Computer Literacy Award as well as Best School Award in that. So this is the maximum reach, whatever. The, so we keep on integrating ICT in the community level also, where normally to transform the, uh, this to the society, means education is also a, a part and particular to trans social transformation. So that's why, so 
this is normally a journey towards a transforming the education. So I continue to keep my innovations in the field of education and technology. I'm also doing a lot of work under the NCRT project where to create the online, uh, online ICT manuals and people are, uh, means like uh, Maharashtra, Goa, Gujarat and MP teachers, they are being trained by using this kind of means material. So I also uh, extend beyond this also I am integrating with the, some of the foreigner teachers through EPAS where we are making a collaborative projects uh, recently in the HIV programs the Aero school from the London has made some of the poster presentation for the December 1 creating awareness programs and my students also they have developed projects where they have used it to create awareness in the London Aero schools also. So this kind of approach collaborative is always um, trusty of integrating ICT in classroom teaching and I want to extend this you know, beyond the classroom. Thank you for the opportunity which is given by the Microsoft and thank you very much.